Okay, so I am going in with the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette from e.l.f. This is in the Akayu, A-C-A-I-U, Akayu, and it's got this purple theme going on here. So you can see, and I will insert swatches, but this looks like a matte, this looks like a metallic, this looks like a satin, and this looks like a matte, but for some reason when it goes on the skin, it looks a little bit more um, satiny, but these are the colors. And I do have my eyes set with the e.l.f. Uh, pore putty for the eyes. And this purple actually does look matte. Last time I, when I swatched it, it just seemed a little bit more shimmery, but it's definitely a matte. It's a, um, this is a more cool tone palette. So different shades of cool tone purple. Which doesn't necessarily always translate nice on my eyes, but we're going to try it anyway. As you can tell, I'm going real dramatic. <laughs> and I'm just going to feather now. And now what I'm going to go, now what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to apply this shade right here all over the lid. I'm going to use my finger just because I know it's going to be, oh that does feel nice and smooth. back in with the finger in that same color and now I'm actually kind of like swiping it before I tapped it but now I'm swiping it just because I want to try to get a more opaque look because it is showing up quite pretty on the eye but it's very see-through like I can see the brown of my skin underneath it okay Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that dark color, nothing additional on the brush though, just the same brush, and I think I'm going to just kind of like, just going to get a little bit of blend here. Actually, let me go in with that. on this brush I'm really just kind of 
blending it out. I don't have any color on here. Do you see like this purple is really pretty but it's very like I can just see my skin through it so hmm let me use a shader brush go back in that same purple that sparkly purple and really get that brush in there and get a lot on this flat shader brush and I'm gonna just kind of okay I'm just gonna kind of swipe it it just it's a very pretty color it just isn't opaque like I can see the brown of my skin shining through And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with that purple. Just that uh, blending brush, no product or anything, just blending everything out. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other eye and I'm going to clean up underneath here and then we'll do, um, then we can finish the rest of the eye. Okay, so really quick, what I decided to do was, I do want to, I really like the way this looks, but I wish there was a little bit more transition in between the dark and the light purple. So, what I'm going to do with my finger is I'm going to go into this little purple shade right here. This is the satiny finish I was talking about. I'm just getting a little on the finger because I really just want something to kind of help with that transition. And then very lightly, I'm kind of tapping this right over where the lighter and the darker meet. I'm gonna go back in just really light. Actually I'm lying, I'm digging in. <laughs> so you get about that much on there. And I'm just continuing to pat it right along that transition line right there. There we go. Okay, that's that's better. Same thing digging into that purple with my finger. And then just tapping right along where those two colors meet. Just kind of trying to give a little help with the transition. There we go. There we go. Yeah. And then really quick, going back into that um, purple shade right here. My finger. Just kind of going back over that color and I'm gonna drag. Drag and pat. <laughs> Same thing over here, just drag and pat. Okay. Alright, so now <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so I did go ahead and add a some black uh, liner to the eye and I added a purple. Uh, eyeliner to the waterline and now I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to take a thin brush the small brush this Morphe brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here And that really just brought more purple back because when I stepped off and I was adding my eyeliner, I was like, this looks a little bit more blue than purple. But this right here, this shade right here, brings that purple back. Brings that purple back into play. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's really, really pretty. You gotta think about that. All right, and now what I'm gonna go do 
is with a pencil brush. I wish I had a pencil brush pencilier than this, but this is the one I brought out. But I'm going to go into this shade right here, and this is what I'm going to use as my brow bone and my inner corner. So I'm really going to work that in there. Really work that tip in there. A little powder. Alright, and then I'm going to just put it right here. I probably should have wet this. Going in wet, I can see it really. dry just a little bit more ashier comes across more blue than anything and then I'm gonna just kind of just barely I'm like barely touching the skin and I'm really just trying to add a little highlight and some cohesiveness and then I'm gonna go over here again Again, I think if you use this wet, you'd probably get more payoff. Oh, that's pretty. And then I'm just gonna lightly, barely tap it. Barely tap. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do just to kind of smooth everything else out is I'm going back in with that brush that doesn't have any additional product in it and just kind of blend. And what I would do here ideally is go in with almost like my bronzer shade and buff everything out but I don't want to use another um, I don't want to use another palette I just want to stick to this one but yeah mascara that's what I forgot I forgot my mascara but that is really really pretty let me add some mascara and then I'm gonna do that whole but this is really pretty this color on the bottom yes Yes. 